Hey guys, welcome to my channel Success Sequence where we deal analyze and activity is important more and expected level for next day. So in my previous video, I did mention that the market is sort of uh, uncertain zone and it can go up and down quite crazily. But one thing was quite sure that I uh, did suggest it is that the 10,430 is a very crucial level. And if market trades below this particular level, you can definitely see a level till 21 days exponential moving average so basically if the market uh, was supposed to trade below its 13 days exponential moving average a test of its 21 days exponential moving average was likely so if you see that uh, market did uh, trade it that particular uh, below that particular level which was 10,430 uh, I guess and then it did uh, came down but it took a sharp turn from its lower level so if you see the analyzer can tell the pattern it did suggest that there was a buying near this zone so Finally, the market was uh, market did close above it 13 days exponential moving average. So, if you see broadly the candlestick and uh, moving average uh, concept, you will feel that there is uh, some sort of support at a lower level, and the only reason is that market was able to close above 13 days exponential moving average. So, it did suggest some sort of bullishness, and still, if you see the CCI is already. Um, above is exponential averages so it has not yet broken its exponential averages so no need to be that much bearish apart from that if you observe the MACD which is 583 MACD it has uh, broken its uh, exponential average but it is yet to take some sort of a U-turn uh, sort of formation is getting formed at a lower level so if it takes a support at a lower level and comes up you can definitely see a test of a level of around 10,500 so 10,500 can again be tested uh, if the market tries and trades on the higher side but to do that it needs to close above a very crucial level which is 10,450 and it's also is uh, I think uh, 8 days exponential moving average around that level you will find that the 8 days uh, exponential moving average lies there now the problem with uh, going along uh, when the market closes above eight days exponential moving is that the white line which is eight days simple moving average has always been acting as a resistance for this particular kind of move so better if the market closes above this particular range and if uh, if we see a sort of bullish cross or getting formed then only we are going long otherwise we are not getting we are not doing any trading because the at a lower level market uh, did getting some sort of support and on the higher side there is a resistance so we need to watch out for the move a decisive move then only we can we, uh, we can write that particular move so if you see a longer term make which is uh, 1321 8 it is also sort of suggesting a bearish crossover uh, yet to be formed however if you see rsi rsi is taking support here is exponential averages so right now uh, what the market is uh, trying to suggest is there is a some sort of support at a lower level be because it has not yet broken it however on a higher side there is a resistance so we'll confirm the analysis with our analysis of option chart data but what i feel is there is a support at a lower level and if this support holds market can again continue or resume its upward journey so let us see the option chart data first so for the nifty i can see 10,300 to 1000 is the broad option activity range on a call side since the market has uh, uh, has seen a good sort of uh, swing on a downside I can see a uh, call writing has happened again not that of sort of strong change in open interest but I can see a uh, call writing at all over broadly all over the strike prices place again if you see on a put side I can see uh, generation of fresh bearish position at a lower level like 10,300 to 10,450 so market participants are expecting uh, some sort of lower level because the call writing supported by the bearish position fresh bearish position did suggest that the market participants are expecting some sort of down move now if you see the um, in between option activity range like 10,500 to 10,600 what you can see is put short has covered so when you when you short put you expect a stable to bullish market and when you cover your put uh, that you have shorted you expect a stable to bearish kind of market uh, stable not not a stable but naturally a bearish kind of market because if you have shorted put and the market uh, stays uh, stable or stays at a place where it is right now you are definitely going to end up making money due to time decay so call short covering did suggest some sort of volatility but we need to wait for the decisive move and then only we are going to trade uh, be it a nifty or bank nifty so that was my analysis for the nifty so watch out for the important levels on the higher side and a lower level on a downside i feel there is support near 10,390 and if you see any sort of rejection getting formed near 10,390 you can take a risk reward favorable trade with the stop loss below 10,390 or say 10,380 and with a target of the exponential average which is 10,430 so uh, that was the analysis for the nifty now, now let's quickly find out what the bank nifty is suggesting so we'll start our analysis with the option activity range now 
what i can see is uh, 26000 to 25000 is the broad option activity range as far as the bank nifty is concerned so 600 points on upside and 400 points of downside that sort of volatility uh, we are expecting in a nifty now the important thing uh, from the option chart data front is in a call writing i can see a good sort of call writing especially at 10 25,200 and 25,300 level because I can see the change in open interest in terms of percentage has been quite aggressive. So it did suggest that the market participants are expecting the need to trade below 25,200. So 25,200 will be a good down move because it is right now trading at 25,338 sort of level. Again, I'll come back and analyze and uh, we'll also try and catch up with my previous analysis that what I have suggested and how the market has played out. But before that, I need to observe the port data. So what I can see is fresh port rating has happened on a port side along with the various motion. So it is quite confusing, not at all sort of uh, conformity in the call, sorry, call kind of uh, the position that the participants have made on a call side. So bank nifty is sort of very dicey and not generating any sort of clear move. Uh, so let us come back and try and engage the market moment using the candlestick and the moving averages. Now if you see the CCI at first, what you will find is uh, this is the zero zone. Break below the zero zone will suggest that the accelerated move on a downside can come. Now the mark now as you can see the RSI which is 55 days exponential RSI of uh, CCI has already broken now either it will generate a support or fall down sharply now if you analyze the candlestick data what you can see is the market is right now trading below all is crucial moving averages so it needs to break uh, on a higher side all the moving averages needs to be broken if at all we are going to expect some sort of down move so in my previous video I did suggest that there will be a some sort of test near 25,000 uh, 25,170 kind of level so you can also see that there is a rejection of a prices has happened at a lower level so which is also suggesting that there is a some sort of buying at a lower level however the market did close in red so it is also suggesting that there is a, a some sort of expectation of bearishness at a high level now here the important thing is the MACD is already trading in a negative zone so with a bearish crossover break of exponential RSI if the MACD accelerates from this level you are definitely going to see a good sort of down move and this can take a nifty to 25,000 level as well so 25,000 level has been a good support for the market and test of this 25,000 level will be quite crucial now if you see the bigger MACD which is 1328 you can also see that it, it is already trading below its exponential average and has generated a bearish crossover now it needs to mature if you want to see any significant downside so market can go very much down especially bank nifty if this crossover matures and the option chart data is also not, not that much clear so we are not able to take any particular call so nifty is on sort of uh, can bounce back and the bank nifty is looking bullish so since there is a confusion we have not taken any particular trade uh, in terms of uh, today's market analysis now what you need to do is you need to be patient and wait for the market to break out in this particular kind of scenario because what you do most of the time the market will either go up or go down or it can do both either uh, it for the timing it can go up for the time it can come down so especially the option buyer who are uh, making trying to make a, some sort of move in a put or call option will definitely going to end up lose money because market will be here and there for the timing so there is a no uh, there is there will be no that's all uh, there will be no sort of use of of, uh, uh, it, it is not a ra rational thing to do with the put buying unless you are expecting a, some sort of uh, down move or a call buying unless you are expecting a good move so be patient and let us market decide the uh, the path it uh, was supposed to take until the time watch market and if you want to trade on an intraday basis you can also use the system that i have suggested and to understand that system you can what you can do is you can watch the video that i have created i have created a separate playlist so check out the video description if you are interested in doing that so that's what uh, that is uh, that's it for today's video analysis if you want to learn more please stay tuned to my channel subscribe to my channel uh, press the bell icon if you want to get the daily video analysis and in case you have if you have any doubt you can always mention it in the comment section of the video thank you guys